Hey you guys, today's wig is brought to you by Hair So Fly Shop. I'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store. The brand of the wig that I have today is It's a Wig. I have her in the style Frontal S Lace Desire. This wig come with a 13 by 6 lace frontal that's hand tied and this wig is curling iron sleeve up to 400 degrees. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. You get a lot of parting space. Behind the lace front, so you get two combs, and then you get another comb in the back with adjustable straps. And then the lace is a Swiss lace. As for the hair, the hair is a 613 color, and the texture is on the silky side, but it's not too silky like Barbie doll hair. It actually feels like virgin hair. Also, the wig is very long, as you guys just saw. So, like always, I go in with my hot comb. Ever since I got this hot comb, I just put this hot comb to work. I got this hot comb off Amazon. I'll be sure to leave the link below to if you're interested. And right now I have it on the lowest temperature, which is number five, and I'm just um, flattening out the top. I just want the top to be really, really flat and nice. So, like I told you guys in the title, no plucking to this wig. This wig comes pre-plucked. I did not have to go in and pluck it at all. Like, it looks pretty nice. Like, really, really nice. They did that. After just going in with my hot comb, this is my end results. Right now I'm just cutting the lace on the hairline and I'm not cutting it straight. I'm kind of cutting it like crooked and then just going in little wave motions. Underneath the wig, I didn't put any foundation or any powder at all just because sometimes with like blonde wigs, I notice after I put my powder, like the lace will look kind of orange compared to when I do it on like black hair or like kind of a calm color. So I was just like, I'm just going to leave the lace alone till I figure something out or if I ever wear this, I'll probably do the ball cap method one day. But, so this wig is really, really long, you guys. Like, I'm going to show you guys what that looked like. But right now, I am just brushing out the hair. And when I first got the wig and I brushed it, I did get some snags. I, like, had to, like, really snag it out. But then after that, I went in with the hot comb for a little bit and then brushed it. And it just looks nice. And it's just flowing. The brush is going through it. It looks great it looks like actual virgin 613 here and it actually feels like it like wow as for the ends the ends come with some layer it comes with long long layers the length of this wig on me i would say is like about probably 28 inches my height is 5 6 remember that butt i was telling you about well here it is it's the top and the back and the crown area you can see my tracks like up there's looking a little thin but hopefully i could like find like a 613 bundle and just add like a track at the top just to make it a little thicker so like i said before the layers come really long in this hair but if i ever do decide to wear this wig i would actually cut the hair down to about the shortest layer so that will be about like 16 inches as for the cap size, this wig is definitely on the big head friendly side. I do have a lot of extra room in here. And like I said before, I look at the hairline, it comes pre-plucked. I didn't have to pluck anything really nice and be getter friendly. The shedding on this wig is medium. As for the density, to me, the wig density is on the medium side as well. It doesn't come off thin, but it's a nice natural looking density. So like I said, the hairline comes pre-plucked. If you want, you can always go in and glue down this wig, gel down this wig, whatever you want. But you don't have to gel down the whole thing. You could just gel down the air tabs, glue down the air tabs, whatever you prefer. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys.